Today you will learn how to create another amazing 2D drawing in Photoshop really easily and you can use it as a foam wallpaper or whatever you want. So let's do it. Hey guys, it's Neymar and welcome to another really fun Photoshop tutorial. You already know what we will do today. We will create another amazing 2D drawing using Photoshop, but you can use Procreate on iPad or Adobe Illustrator and so on and so forth. The principles are the same. It's really easy. You will see now how to do it. And then you can use it for whatever you want. I'm using it for wallpaper on my phone as you already saw it. Right now, let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. Really guys, we are here in Photoshop and I will start with a blank piece of paper. And the aspect ratio is 16 by 9, actually 9 by 16. And I choose this aspect ratio because I want to put it as a wallpaper on my phone. So this is pretty cool for that. And I will start by creating a new layer and I just choose two different colors. As you can see here, a little bit of uh, greenish and a little bit of a bluish tone. And uh, I will just use these colors here just to have them because I will use them as a gradient for planets, for sky, etc. So it's really, really simple. Just let's rename this color. Colors, okay. And now I will start by creating a new layer. This will be a background or sky or whatever we want. I can just get rid of this one. And I will go with a gradient and I will go here with the basics and foreground to background or um, this first option. And what I will do, let's see. This is pretty cool. Maybe I will go a little bit more straight down. So this is nice. Maybe I can go a little bit more down like that. And this is pretty nice for now. Uh, then I will create a planet. It's really simple to create a planet. Just use rectangular, actually elliptical marquee tool. Press and hold shift and just drag and make a planet like that. And I will use the same colors, same everything. Go with the gradient tool and this is it. So. Now I will go a few times, trials and error, just to see how I want to create it. This is not bad. So the point is that light is coming from uh, this direction, so bottom right corner. And now I can move this somewhere here. This is pretty much okay. And I will make a copy of that, Control or Command J, and press Control or Command T and make the planet smaller. And I will put it I'll put it somewhere here, like a moon of that planet, something like that. And then let's name this planet, planet. Okay, and let's name this moon. Why not? And I will create a mask, layer mask on the moon. I will go with the black color, 100% opacity, pretty hard round brush. And then I will just make a few holes, like one, two holes. Like it's a moon. It's just artistic way to present the moon. I don't know. I like it. You can make a few other holes if you want, but maybe one here, but I like two, maybe three. Huh? Mm, three is not bad. So let's do however we want. Uh, I'm leaving that to you. And now let's do something else. Let's make a few like comets or whatever here above. Let's name this comets or I don't know. And I will use for that white color. So here it is. Uh, moon planet colors are here okay so white color really really tiny brush size even more something like this okay and i will press click here click here and that's it and i will just make a copy of this control or actually alt with the move tool and just drag it and may make another here just like one comet two comets are falling down below maybe I can just because it just for fun maybe I can go and make like a little bit bigger here oops so we know that it's actually some kind of a comet everything is optional here guys so see it's pretty crappy now but let's do it one more time And maybe softer brush, not so hard. So something like this. And that's pretty cool. Or not, or something like that. And the other one is not visible because it's right there. But I like this as a detail, so maybe like maybe like this and maybe the other one 
which one is this? This one maybe a little bit up. Again, this is personal preference and that's it. Right now I want to create a forest down below and uh, the, for that I will need some trees. So there are so many ways how you can do it. I already show you how to create, create a tree brush. Uh, now I will use just a simple tree and make a copy of it. If you don't have this option in Photoshop, you'll see now, then just go for maybe on pixabay.com and just try to find a silhouette of a tree. There are a bunch of them and just use it here exactly how I will do right now. So I will create a new layer. I will go to filter and then render and then tree. Simple as that. And now, because it's on my second screen there below, let's bring it here. Okay, it's here. We can choose among many of these trees. I will go with Redwood, just press OK. It's pretty perfect for this. And now I will turn this into a silhouette. I will go to Image, Adjustments, Levels, and just bring everything to the right to create a silhouette out of that. And also Control or Command T, and I will make the tree smaller. So again, optional size. I think it's okay. And now what I will do, I will go with a move tool, press and hold alt or option key and just make several copies of these trees, as you can see right there. Okay, and now I will go and select separate trees and press control or command T, make them more narrow, maybe a little bit higher, just to add some randomness to this. So I'm again on the move tool, I'm pressing control and select the layer. So this is how I'm doing. And when I press control, this auto select option is available. When I don't hold control or command key on a Mac, this is not available. I can click it here to be always available. Then whatever I'm doing, I will move that layer, but I don't like that. I like to use it with control or command key. Okay, so this is cool. Maybe this one a little bit bigger right there. Also, I'll go all about the trees and go with a black brush and uh, just 100% opacity and paint this. Okay, so this is really nice. Maybe, just maybe, let me see. And this needs to be here, but let's select this one and make a copy. I will again make it smaller, a little bit narrow, maybe a little bit bigger. So we can change we want here but I want to make impression that this is really nice forest here and that's cool okay now let's make a UFO let's create a UFO let's draw the UFO first let's clean this up a little bit select all the trees control or command G trees that's it moon comets 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 planets okay let's select everything here name this planets okay and we have the background so this is it now let's create a UFO. So new layer. And what I will do here, I will go again with elliptical marquee tool. Again, guys, there are so many ways how we can do exactly the same thing here. I'm just doing in this way because I like it. So I will create this kind of shape, okay, elliptical shape. And I will go back to my colors. So I will put them above everything. And as you can see, I have blue and greenish, but because they are here, the blue is blended with the background. So I will select this one and then switch and select this one. So I have both of them. And now what I will do, I will go again with the gradient tool and, and create something like, because the light is coming from this direction, I will create something like this. Maybe let's first fill this with blue color, just for you to see what I'm doing, actually how I will build the UFO. So Alt or Option and Backspace and fill with the foreground color like that. And then I will layer add a gradient. So this is it. Now I will go with another layer, put it below this one. Oh, I made a mistake. So I don't want this on a color layer. So let's see, let's create a new layer here. Now let's fill it. Then another layer below. And I will go again with this elliptical marquee tool and fill it like that. And uh, now what I like to do, I like to actually let's fill it with this other color. Just because we can see what what's going on here. And now what I like to do, I will press control or command T, hold control or command and move these here. 
like this. Okay. Let's see, percenter, this is pretty good, maybe just to tweak it a little bit more like this. And now I will erase everything that is below uh, this blue uh, elliptical shape. Go with the hard brush and just, and just go with the layer mask and just erase. Right, so it's really simple as that. So now we have like, half of the sphere actually just the upper part of the sphere and it's cut down and uh, now I will create another layer below everything and go again with the elliptical marquee tool and just create the cap above everything so maybe like like this and again fill it with the blue and this is it so you can see a little bit down 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 so this is an UFO here let me show really quickly. And that's it. Sorry. Okay, so this is it. Now let's change the colors and everything uh, here. Because this is the uh, lower part down below, I want to go right there. And uh, just on that, I will lock the transparency and just, let's see, add a little bit of this kind of light effect down below then i will go to this one and make this darker so this one actually needs to be a different color so let's let's create a new layer and fill it with this dark blue and use the same layer mask right there and let's see yeah that's pretty cool i will delete this one right click and i want to say apply layer mask right then i can go with Control or command t and i can make this maybe a little bit shorter so that's cool and also this one can be here and i can go lock the transparency and go exactly do exactly the same thing here just a little bit of the light maybe like that and maybe i can go on this one too let's see just for fun mm, just a little bit. Oh, okay so this is cool but i don't like it on this part it's too much so maybe maybe a little bit less maybe something like i don't know Let's leave it like this. So oh, it's it's okay. -ish. Not bad. So now we can group everything here. Name it UFO. And we will see about the size and everything. Maybe a little bit smaller like that. And maybe a little bit to change the shape a little bit like this. Okay. This is really nice. Now let's create a light there. So I will go above everything here. New layer. Go with rectangular marquee tool and now just go and create rectangle the width of the upper uh, part of the ufo like that change to something yellowish like that and fill it with that alt or option and backspace and now control or command t and just make this wider you can go by using combination of keys but you can go with the perspective and just make this wider like that amazing now what i like to do here is to create another shape elliptical create a layer mask and now put this here and let's see like that invert everything you can go shift Control i or shift command i and then with the black color just erase everything above the uh, selection here control or command D to deselect and this is it as you can see we can make this a little bit more narrow here perspective make it narrow and pull it right click free transform pull it down there and I like it and also we can change the opacity to maybe 80% just to see the trees behind and also we can go again here control or command T and make this a little bit longer like that all right now what i like to do with the the light ray i can go and put it below the trees or to put the trees now to put everything yeah to put the trees above ufo like this right this is how i like it also i can go to ufo control or command t rotate it a little bit maybe make it a little bit smaller put it somewhere somewhere here and also i can go to rearrange the plants a little bit the moon 
can go and be somewhere here why not and this bigger one can go a little bit more up this can go a little bit more here this line can go oops come on this one can go right there and now I can change the position of UFO somewhere here rotate a little bit again personal preference and now you can play with the trees a little bit I can go and copy where the tree is here I can select just one of them doesn't matter maybe this one make a copy and move it all the way down behind the UFO right there okay and make it smaller maybe a little bit more narrow like like this and just make a copy few copies of this too so just to make the impression that actually there is something happening below behind it maybe one more somewhere here and lower the opacity a little bit and also I can lower the opacity of these just to make them more opaque like less less opaque actually like that and uh, also what we can do we can go with these trees and go with hue and saturation adjustment layer clip to affect only the trees set colorize set a color to bluish something like that make everything brighter more saturated and just see the color something something like this and then maybe maybe like this is pretty okay let's see I think this is okay just a little hint of color here all right so I pretty like this what we can do also here we can add a few people like the UFO is abducting people so for that I went to uh, pixabay.com and just download grab the photos of these people so I will go here and actually put everything right there this is first this is second one and we have another one this is third one okay so all three guys i will select all of them control or command t make them smaller let's put them here like they're pretty small like this and now we can just rearrange them this is one two three so this is person number one this is person number two and this is person number three so this can be all grouped into one layer select everything and merge it with control or command e and this is ufo perfect and also what we can do here we can go to all three persons here and maybe make them a bit bigger just a little bit bigger like that and we can add the motion blur so we can select all of them and merge them into one that's perfect and then go to filter blur motion blur and here we can like let's see 10 10 is nice so let's zoom this yeah this is cool right and that's basically it we can add even more we can add stars we can add whatever we want but the point here is to know how to create something really cool we can go to the trees maybe move them a little bit down everything or just leave it like that whatever you want and also now at the end we can merge everything into one layer shift Control alt or shift command option e on a mac go to filter and then go to camera filter and here you will see I will just change a little bit of the colors add vignetting and that's basically it okay so I will add a little bit of the contrast I will go with the clarity a little bit and I don't need anything else except I like to change colors so more like this and more like green tint and to add a blue saturation that's it and vignette and here we are also I can go all the way here with the gradient and just add a little bit more darkness at the top 
press OK and this is it. And as you can see, this is before, this is after. It's really subtle change, but I really, really like it. And I will stop here for today. Of course, we can add even more elements, maybe some stars, maybe more UFOs, whatever. It's completely up to you and your imagination. The possibilities are endless. But the point here is to you uh, getting to know the methods and techniques, how to create something really simple and easy like this. Just use some simple shapes, base, basic shapes and some silhouettes and in a matter of a few minutes you can create something like this. Alright guys, if you like this episode please press the like button, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe in case you're not already and also ring the bell to get notified about all the future episodes. Have fun experiment and see you in the next one. Bye bye.